Hi everyone, it's Robin and welcome back to another Thrift Store Thursday. Uh, this week I am so excited to share with you what I picked up. One of the things I picked up is something that I have been eyeing up for about two, three weeks now. And the last time I went to the thrift store, it was 50% off day and it was still there. So of course I snatched it up right away, put it in my cart, and then of course I found some other really fun things as well. So let's go ahead and jump right into today's Thrift Store Thursday. All right, so the very first thing I found today was very exciting for me, and some of you are gonna laugh because it's so silly, but it is this big, huge, round tabletop is what it is actually considered. You can find these at um, like Menards, Home Depot, Lowe's, that sort of thing. And it's about two inches thick. And this thing is ginormous. I want to say it's probably about 20 inches, maybe a little more. I don't know. I didn't really measure it. But it was originally $4.99. And because it was 50% off, it was like $2.49 or something like that. <laughs> the reason I'm excited about this is, first of all, it's huge. And the way I like to use these is make these into cutting boards. I made a video on making homemade cutting boards a while back. I can't remember when it was exactly. But I made a, I picked up one of these, a much smaller one, and made a cutting board out of it. It's actually sitting right over here. Probably can't see it very well. But I use it to like corral some stuff on it to sit on my counter and I think it looks nice. So when I found this one, I was so excited because this thing is ginormous and it will go on my counter probably over here. Once I get it, I'll sand it up and stain. I'm not sure if I'm going to stain this one. I think I stained the other one. But I may just do like a butcher block um, treatment on it and just keep it like all natural like this. So I'm not quite sure how it's going to work out, but it's awesome. And this will be perfect for like a dining room table if you want like a rustic looking centerpiece. And this, these work really nice for like grounding your display or whatever if you don't have a tray or something like that. So, and they're very inexpensive actually, especially if you find them at the thrift store, but this one was probably about $12, $13 at the actual store. So, very excited about that find. I cannot wait to use that. I will make sure to link that cutting board um, video down below if you're interested in that at all because I am obsessed with cutting boards and I'm always on the lookout for vintage ones and I can never really find ones that I wanted so making a circle one of my own was a good alternative so I will show you how to do that in that video if you're interested it'll be down in the description box all right moving on to the next thing I found a little goodie bag so in this bag are four napkin rings and they are in this gorgeous tarnished looking silver I am so excited about these I have another set of silver, um, can you see that? I don't know if you'll be able to see that very well. There you go. But anyways, I just thought they were really pretty. And these four with another four that I bought a long time ago that are silver, not quite the same, but I think between the four of them, I can mix and match them and have a setting for eight people. So that's pretty cool. So I'll keep my eye out for more of them. And maybe one of these days I'll have like enough, I think I need 10 total for like hosting, you know, Thanksgiving and that sort of thing. So anyways, thought those were really cool at a great price at 99 cents. All right, so the next thing was $1.99 and it was on sale once I said, but I picked it up for 99 cents and it is a vintage washcloth with this sweet little flower pattern on it. Look at that. Isn't that adorable? I love the pretty colors on it. I think it is so pretty and just like the hand towels and wash and and uh, tea towels and stuff I love the little vintage hand towel or washcloths as well this is by Monticello by Canon so yeah I just thought that was cute 99 cents for a washcloth can't go wrong with that so the next item I picked up was a dish surprise surprise um, I haven't been bringing home as much dishes lately. Aren't you proud of me? <laughs> but this one was Ironstone, so I had to pick it up. It was originally $2.99, so I got it for $1.49, and it looks like this. It's an oblong bowl, like this, and I really liked it. 
it's got like this little etching along this along the top. It's got like a little band of something or another. I don't know if you'll be able to notice that or not. But I thought it was very cool. I really love the shape of it. It reminds me of the shape of some other iron stone that I have, although it's not quite the same. It's very, very, very similar. At first I thought that's what it was. But this one is actually Independence Iron Stone Castle Top, I think it says, made in Japan. So I don't know, I've never heard of that before. But it's a gorgeous shape of a bowl. I thought this would be really cool like in a bathroom or something like that if you've got a large counter space for a little trinket bowl or you could put you know your soap pump in one side and the like toothpaste tube in the other. I don't really know but I don't know. I just thought it was a cool shape and it's very you know or even like uh, next to my kitchen sink you could put the dish soap in one side and the hand soap in the other side and it would be a cute little dish. So I could not pass it up for a dollar forty-nine, and it being ironstone. <laughs> so anyways, so I picked that up and I was very excited about that. All right, so then I kind of went back into like the crafting area, which is not a place that I normally look because I don't normally find very much there. But this time, I don't know why I looked, but I did. And it was a good thing because I found some fun stuff. So the first thing I found was another, was a, well, they're both grab bags. And the first one was $2.99, but they were on sale, of course, for the sale for $1.49. And it is two huge bags of ribbon, like this, and they are both white. Um, one's a little more white, one's more a little off-white, but I think these are velvet ribbon, which haha, I am so excited about. So, oh, this one still has the plastic on it. Oh my goodness, look at that. It says, luxurious velvet satin acetate backing, waterproof, 25 yards of it. Made in the USA by the Berkwick Industries in Pennsylvania. Um, the price tag on it says $3.92. So, I don't want to take the plastic off. Maybe these are the same color, they just look kind of the same because of the, this one still has the protective, like, plastic around it. So let me take out the other one. This one has the plastic on it too. Oh my goodness. So this is the same thing. It just says velvet white on the little tag. And this one looks like, this one is all here as well. So let's see, I'm going to have to open one of these apparently. I'll open this one just so I can take a look see oh my goodness this is so pretty first of all I love velvet ribbon it is like my absolute favorite and this is about probably an inch maybe an inch and a half does it say it doesn't really say anyways so yeah it's just white it's definitely got a little bit of browning along the edges and I think that's just because of the age of it. I wish I knew how to figure out how old stuff like this is because this is absolutely gorgeous. So, I mean, I don't know. It's a little bigger than I would like. I like I like one inch velvet ribbon. The, that's like my favorite because I can just simply tie it around something and then have the little, you know, curly cue at the end or whatever, just kind of lay there. This is a little thicker. And not quite as easy to work with, but I think I can make it work. Like a little bow or something. I'm not real sure what I'm going to do with it, but I thought it was super cool. And I was very excited. I cannot believe there are two of these. <laughs> so I'm going to have a lot of velvet white ribbon for a very long time with the two of these. So I was very excited about that. They also had a few other colors that I didn't really care for. Um, but now I'm thinking maybe I should go back and see if they're still there. They had like a really dark red, more like a burgundy red. And then they had like this really weird colored green. It wasn't a normal green. It was a very strange green. So I kind of passed up on that. And I think there was a yellow too or something like that. But of course I had to get the white ones because, you know, that's me. 
Um, but the red would have been cool if it wasn't so dark. I like more of a cherry red, if that makes any sense. But anyways, now I'm just babbling about different shades of colors. <laughs> Such a dork. Anyways, let's go on to the next item that I found. This one was also a little bag of things. And this one has got me very excited. It was originally $2.99. I picked it up for $1.49. And the reason I picked them up, mostly, is because it has these metal embroidery hoops in them. I have never had a metal embroidery hoop. And I just think they are so old school. So I just had to pick this up. And it has two of them in it. The first one is this oval shaped one, which is super cool. Now my mom says that these things are the best because they have this little spring on them. She has a couple of them and she prefers them over any other kind of embroidery um, hoop. So I was like, oh good, I'm so glad that I picked this up. First of all, I just picked it up because I thought it was super duper cool. And then um, then I picked it, then I was, oh, it even came with a needle. There's also this big thing of thread in here and a project that is attached to this other hoop. Now this one is actually colored. It is tan and blue and it is sitting on this little um, work of art. It looks like, what does it say? God sends his love and joy to earth with every little baby's birth. It says and then oh it's going to be like a little baby in the sky in the clouds. And then down on the bottom, it's got like the ABCs. And this is very different. I've never seen this done before. But they looks like they use a masking tape around the outside edge of it so that it doesn't fray as you're working on it. Huh. I may have to try that. And can you see this? They're actually been still working on it. And there's a needle in there. <laughs> so anyways, I thought that was pretty cool. So maybe I will finish this up. I don't really have any need for a baby one. It does have a stain on it. Can you see that right there? If I can get the stain off, it might be worth doing. But regardless, it is awesome for these hoops. That is what I bought it for. I think these are so cool and I'm very excited about it. So I thought that was a great find. And I was very, very excited about that. Alright, so I have one more item to share with you. And it is my favorite, by far, of the week. It is my, oh, I just, I'm so in love with it. I can't even get over it. And you probably, I gave you a sneak peek of it on my thumbnail. Well, basically, it is the thumbnail. And it is this right here. Oh, my goodness. Are you in love? Are you in love? Oh my, I am. I think it is awesome. So I originally saw it three weeks ago and it had a price tag of $15.99 on it. And I did not want to pay that, nor did I really need this. But I really wanted it. So I kept looking at it every time I went. It was still there. It was still there. So I went on 50% off day and it's the first thing place I went to. I went directly to the area that it was, was and it was still there tucked behind something where I stashed it the first time and I don't think anybody touched it the whole time that I had it back there. It was awesome. It was just waiting for me. So I picked it up for like seven dollars. Seven like fifty? I don't know. Something like that. And I couldn't be happier. I'm just in love with it. It does have a very scary looking plug which I am afraid to plug in. I just, I these electricity scares me. You know, not too much scares me, but electricity scares the bejesus out of me. So I don't like to, this, but I may try to plug it into like a power cord so I don't feel like I can burn down my house. <laughs> and we'll see how it, if it works. Now, I originally thought that this was just a radio or a clock. So I originally thought that this was just a clock. And maybe it is. I don't know. Because there's like no dial on it for like a radio at all. But it does say it's made by the Zenith. Radio Corporation of Chicago, Illinois. So to me that means maybe it's a uh, radio as well. I'm not really sure. But 
basically I bought it because I thought it was super duper cool and whether it works or not is irrelevant to me because I will not be plugging it in to use as a normal thing. I just basically wanted it for, you know, decorative purposes and it's definitely going on my bedside table and I am so excited to use this thing. I think it is going to be adorable. I can just see it sitting there on my bedside table with a little thing of little pretty flowers sitting on top of it. And I think it is so adorable. And I am so happy it was still there. So, I love it. Absolutely love it. Um, it does have a little bit of a scuff mark over here. You're probably not going to be able to see it on the plastic that covers it. But it's not a big deal. It's not a big deal at all. Ooh, there's something that moves around in there, which does not sound good, but that's all right. I do need to take off the back, I think, because you can see down in here that it's just really super duper dusty. So it does look like I can take off this back piece here and get it cleaned up, but you do not need to know all that because that is disgusting and I am sharing way too much information. I apologize. <laughs> all right, so I'm going to just put this down and stop talking about it now, even though it is I am in love with it, and I am so tickled pink that I now have it in my collection of clocks. Um, but I'm going to stop talking about it, I promise. And what we're going to do right now is jump on over into the next segment and look and see what some of my viewers have found this week when they went out shopping. Enjoy. First up today is this photo by Barbara. She found some glass jars and a juicer and some very unique looking candlesticks. Look at those. Crazy. And then she also was gifted all of these mason jars. How nice. Next up is this table found by Cottage Creations for $20. It looks beautiful. She also found the large snowman for $0.99. Cents. And then everything else in this photo has been thrifted as well, just at different times. She also found this adorable little bench for, what she say, $6.99, which she has already given it a really pale color of yellow, which I think is fabulous. And then Rose found these two teddy bears at two different stores for a pound each. And then she addressed them up in newborn little knitted jumpers, which are very similar. And I think that is such... A cute idea. Oh, and I forgot to mention that she actually thrifted the jumpers for 10 pence each. Rose also found this adorable Russian stacking doll for one pound, the mug with the castle on it for 10 pence, and the best grandma mug for 10 pence as well. Even though she's not a grandma, she says she can always prepare a little early. And why wouldn't you when you find a mug that is so adorable? And then Rose also found this vintage looking snowman for five pounds and the Scottish figure for three pounds and 49 pence. And finally, she found this cutting board for 50 pence and she paid one pound for all three of the wall hanging plates, which have classic composers on them and are absolutely gorgeous. Glenda found these adorable little pigs for $10 the red portly piggy bank for six dollars and the jam and salt and pepper jars for fifteen dollars i think they are all so cute they go so well together i'm not sure if she planned that but she has them displayed on her built-in shelf in her 1930s kitchen and i think they look adorable Next up, Myrna thrifted the sign with the m on it the plant and the milk glass to use in her restroom she also found all of the milk glass, the clear glass, the basket, and the lace runner at the thrift store, along with the photo, the topiary, the basket, and the linen piece over the back of the toilet. So basically, it looks like she thrifted a whole new look for her loo, and it looks amazing. So next up, Roberta found this very comfortable looking sofa and this chair for about $190. She also found this gorgeous cushion cover for $1.50, and I am in love with it. And then Sandra found all of these items for three euros. Looks like there's a candlestick, a little snowman, a little glass, clear glass um, creamer, a little baby snowman, a little small frame. Looks like there's also a large 
chalkboard maybe and then in the corner there is that a little dustpan very 70s looking or 60s looking loving that a little scooper a ceramic horse head and then i think that is a flower frog in the shape of a watering can which is adorable and finally today lucy found this vintage fig newton tin for a dollar 97 and this canister set which is adorable for eight dollars but her favorite find of the week was the cheese grater nightlight for a dollar 97 fantastic finds all right so once again thank you to everyone who sent in a photo i enjoy seeing them i know a lot of you do as well so keep those photos coming if you would like to submit a photo for next week's thrift store thursday check out the description box and all the information you need will be there for you to browse through and submit your photo so I feel like I might have been a little too chatty in this video, and if I was, I apologize. I try to keep things moving along, um, because I don't like my videos to be too long, but I feel like the Restore Thursday videos are always super duper long, but I almost think you guys expect that at, at this point. Let me know. Do I need to go faster? Do I need to go slower? What should I do? Should I keep it under 10? Should I keep it under 20? <laughs> Anyways. <sighs> All right, so thank you everyone for stopping by and hanging out with me today again for this wonderful Thrift Store Thursday. I appreciate it so, so much more than you can ever possibly imagine. And I would love to know down in the comments what you thought of today's video or what you have found this past week. Let me know down in the comments. And of course, if you are new to my channel, I would love for you to subscribe and hit that notification bell and then you can join us all for thrift store thursdays every single week and of course all the other fun stuff that we've got going on here on my channel uh i think that's going to be it for me today i hope you guys have a wonderful day and if you're going out thrifting i hope you have fantastic luck and i will see you again next week for another thrift store thursday bye now